Hi, I'm Laura Ray. I'm a professor at the Fayer School of Engineering. And we are out here with Yeti, uh, our robot, and also uh, a sled. Uh, Yeti is towing two ground-penetrating radars, two antenna. So the antennas look uh, down into the ice and they're imaging the ice and snow. Yeti's been around since about 2008, and Yeti's been on, I think, over a dozen uh, deployments and is running really reliably. And so what we're doing out here is more of uh, evaluating uh, how our instruments are, are mounted in our sled to get the best data that we can get. When we were deployed this fall to Antarctica, we used Yeti to, to perform a, a transects of the McMurdo shear zone. We covered 600 kilometers and we got great data. We're here to see if we can improve the images just a little bit more by adjusting how the antenna are mounted in our sled. Where we operate is very badly crevassed, but fortunately it has snow bridges and it can support the uh, robot. So that's why we're doing this all robotically. Uh, because where we're investigating, some of the crevassed snow bridges are less than a foot uh, thick, and so it's unsafe to walk on. We found that there was some improvements that could be made. Uh, we could stabilize our sled a little bit. The sled has two antennas and a control unit on it, and when the sled is moving, the control unit we found out was banging against the antennas. So that's why we're out here today to see if we have a more stable uh, setup with some foam padding that not only absorbs shocks, but absorbs stray radio waves that are getting into, uh, into our receiver. So. Uh, after we're done, we'll take the data back. I'll take a look at it. I'll see whether the interference has been uh, cleaned up and whether we need to make any more improvements. Got great data, uh, probably a one-of-a-kind data set uh, that we have right now. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, learning uh, from that, that data set.